hey guys, a first impression and a demonstration wear test. The new Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation Professional Performance Waterproof Sweat Resistant. That is a huge claim. You could wear it three ways. One layer sheer coverage, two coat medium coverage. Three layers full coverage foundation. It does claim that sensitive skin, all skin types, that it claims on Sephora. I'm using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. <gasps> foundation dropped onto the floor. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the foundation just dropped onto the floor. <laughs> Start off with this much foundation and slowly build it up if we need to. So here goes the first layer. Just dot this all over my face. Blend this out. It's applying you really smoothly. It's very blendable onto the skin. It's not hard to blend out. It's very easy to blend out. This foundation, okay. Here is the first layer. This is a really nice natural looking foundation. If you just want something that's slight coverage, I do still see a little bit of redness that's still on my nose that is quite obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. Here's how much I'm applying. Just pat that all over the areas that I want extra coverage. Especially my nose that has that redness. See how full coverage this foundation is. The redness is gone after the second layer. It covered the, that up. I feel like I'm looking at the camera and this foundation is looking a lot more yellow in my viewfinder. I do really like the coverage that it's giving. I usually do use my beauty blender but for this foundation they said this is, is a very sheer and I want this foundation to have more of a medium to full coverage. So I'm using the Stigma Flat Kabuki F80 foundation brush. This not soak up your foundation at all. This gives it so much of full coverage. Comparing it to the Beauty Blender, it does soak up more of the product, so you have to use a lot more foundation. If you're looking for more of a full coverage, it makes my skin look so much more medium to full coverage. I usually use my Beauty Blender. My Beauty Blender shears out the foundation, so it's more light coverage. I love how easily it blends out. This foundation is looking really nice. Okay, here is the second layer to a medium coverage. It covered up the redness on my nose. Just let it dry down. It does look a little bit more matte. I really like the coverage that this foundation is giving me, especially for the second layer that it gives. See, let's go for another layer and see how the full coverage for this foundation would be my everyday foundation. This coverage right here, Two layers. Oh god, this is pretty. I just picked my foundation off of the Sephora website. Much better to go to the Sephora and get your skin match. This shade is matching me pretty good. Let's get up close up and personal. Examine this foundation. So how do you guys feel about this foundation? Let me know down in the comments below. Are your favorite foundations that you've been loving? Let's try on the third coat and see how this goes, if it cracks or what it does, or if it gets cakey with the third coat. Here's the third coat of foundation. Okay, the finish of this foundation goes quite matte. Foundations that I've tried, having dry skin clings to the cheek. Okay, Dior, I see you. You are looking gorgeous. This foundation is freaking good so far so let's try the third coat and see how if we feel cakey or not with that many layers the most layers I've ever done I usually do one layer of foundation sometimes two this Dior claims that you could do three layers and it will give you the most full ass coverage foundation the foundation is moving a lot applying the third coat I feel like the second coat would be the best application on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. The third coat is making it really... I don't know. I just feel cakey applying three coats. It's just too much for me. Why is my viewfinder... I look so much more yellow. In person, I don't look that yellow. 
in person but looking at the viewfinder I look like greenish yellowish tinge okay what's going on here is it raining my room windows open okay so now that I closed my window and my room won't be rained on okay my face looks so much more normal now what's going on with my camera please let me know down in the comments below I don't know how to control the tone of my camera before I ran out into my room and closed the window because it's raining. My face looks really green and yellow for some reason and I don't know how to control like, the tone or how to stop my camera from doing that. If you do know how to do that, let me know down in the comments below. You could hear the rain beating against the window. So this is what my foundation looks like in person. I'm loving this foundation. I just feel like the rain is distracting. I just feel like three layers is a little bit too much for me. I usually go for one layer, sometimes two layer for those problem areas, a little bit heavier on the skin. But if you are looking for the, that nice full coverage, this foundation is really nice for that. I'm just not used to it. I usually like go for light to medium coverage. My pores are a lot more visible after the third layer. My smile line, I could see the little cracks that I've never noticed before until the third layer. But my smile line has like little cracks in my foundation. And the little bumps and texturized onto my skin is a lot more visible after the third layer. So I'd probably just stay with the second layer. It gives you that perfect coverage. Being so loud, trying to concentrate, just lost my train of thought. So let's try to ignore it and concentrate on this foundation. I hope you guys can still hear me. Clearly, foundation is very nice. If you're going for a photo shoot, this is me. I'm so royal, and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion.